Hello everybody, this is Dimitri from Yakov Security Tech and today I'd like to demonstrate how to remote access your DVR from anywhere. And we're going to do that in one of two ways. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to access it on your phone and our tablet. And the other way is to demonstrate it on your computer. The first thing we've got right here is an iPhone. Now, our DVR systems, we work, they work with Blackberry, iPhone, Android, and Windows Mobile. So today we're going to show you Android and Apple. So we're going to show you iOS. First thing you have to do is go to your Apple device, whether it be a, an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPod Touch, and click on App Store. Once you get into the App Store, once it loads, you're going to go to the search function right down here. And we are going to search for SuperCam. Now on the iOS devices, this is called SuperCam Pro, like that, SuperCam Pro. And as you can see here, it costs $1.99. So you're going to click on that. And then it will ask you to install it, and you click on install. Then it will ask you to log in to your iTunes account. You put in your password, and then it will start downloading. Once it has downloaded, you'll get an icon. It will be probably somewhere over here or whatnot. It won't be down here. I have it here for convenience reasons. You click on SuperCam Pro. Now, once the program loads, you have three, you have three little boxes here. You have server, account, and password. Now, in the server, you're going to put the server that we provide. We, prov we provide uh, you the information so that you can log on from the outside. So put whatever server information we give you in the server, like for example, something dot DynDNS or EasternDNS.com. The account would be either admin or another user, right here, and then you put the password, whatever you set as your password. And when you're done with that, you click done. And if you want to remember it on your phone, you will click remember this. You just got to make sure that's check marked, and then you click login. Now today we're going to show you a saved instant. As you can see here, I pressed the, ta the triangle there. I'm going to click on that one and click login. And as you can see, this is a pretty much live. It's about several seconds behind, but it's pretty much live view of the cameras. Now here we have many different options. Here we have the, we're going to show you down here first. I'm going to show you, you can cycle through single camera. You just press on the single camera there and you click on the camera that you'd like to view and you click OK. As you can see, it changes instantly. If you want to do four way, you click on the four like this and you check mark which four you would like to view and you click OK. And as you can see, it comes up all together. To go to full screen on one of them, you just double tap and double tap again to get back out. This one right here, this will take a snapshot. So let's take, for example, this one right here, take a snapshot like that and click OK and then boom. And we'll show you how to play that back in just a second. This button right here, oops, I just did it again, but here we go. Um, here is the recording video. As you can see on the top right, you see a record function, and you press it again, and then it will disappear. This is for volume. This is for the microphone, if you have one. And yes, you can actually change the brightness and contrast controls from your phone. And whatever you do, you click Save. And this is for, and this last one is for PTZ, which we don't have connected at the moment. Now, to play everything back on the top, this flower right here, you click on that. As you can see, these are the two snapshots that we just took. And you just click on it. You can either copy it and, and uh, paste it onto a, an MMS or an email message, or you can delete them. So let's go and delete them. And you click on close. Same story for the video. You click on the video right there. And then it will show you 
um, it will show you. You just click on search, and you click on search again. You select the time, and you press play, like that. As you can see, that is exactly how we did it real time. And then when you're done, you click close. Close again. Now, this one is the settings, just in case you want to. You can control your entire DVR, including your user settings, directly from here, just like on the DVR itself. Time and date and whatnot. This one right here is the system information. This one right here is the server list that you currently have saved. And then the quit, you press this little button right here. And then just get out of the application, you just press the home button, and that's it. Now we're going to go to the Android tablet or Android smartphone and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, now we're going to show you how to access your DVR system using an Android smartphone or tablet. Now for example, over here we have a smart a uh, Android tablet and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your menu and we're going to go to market right here. Now in market you're going to click on search and we're going to search the market for SuperCam. Now, to note, SuperCam on Android is free. On iOS or Apple, it is $1.99. So you would click on SuperCam, and you would click on Install. And then once you install it, you click on Open. Now, over here, it's pretty much the same story as on the Apple devices. On the server, you would type in whatever server information. The user, you're going to put admin or whatever user you decide to select, and the password. And once again, you got to remember to click on Remember Server. And once again, you click on the triangle, and it will give you the list of all of the servers that you've saved. You click on Login. Okay, now we're going to connect. So once again, we're going to press the triangle here, and we're going to go to the server list that we saved. And now we're going to show you the live portion first. As you can see here, there's a four-way camera here. You can view it in either portrait or landscape. Now to select each camera individually, you'll just double tap on each of the cameras here. Now, to, now just in case you have an 8 or a 16 or a 32 camera system, you can press the four-way like this, this one, the third button right here, and you would check mark which ones would you like to view four at a time. Okay? And that is using the third button. The fourth button is the PTZ. Once again, we don't have anything to demonstrate. The fifth one, as you can see here, the snapshot button, you take a snapshot. Like this. There we go. You hear that? And the fifth, the sixth one over here is the record button, so we can press record and it's the same story here you see the record on the top right and you press it again to stop recording these two once again are for the sound depending on your DVR you may or may not have this function and now you go and you click on return to get out of here to play back your files that you've recorded onto your phone or device you press playback you press the channel you press the file and then that's it once again, it's the same sort of thing. You can either fast forward it two times or rewind it. As you can see, we have a very small clip. We can either slow it down or speed it up. Let's press stop and return. And return. Now to view the images, you click on image. And there they are. There you can go through, you can cycle through each image that you have in the same fashion. Okay. Uh, server list is just the list of servers. Settings here you can go and change um, what the file limit on your uh, tablet or smartphone device is to record. And then you can either choose four or one display by default. Display four cameras or one. You can turn on the alarm settings just in case that if something happens you will hear an alarm on your device. And then you will see it on the status screen. Okay, Information once again, just like any other one, is the, is the information. Help, just in case you want to see how to log in. 
It gives you detailed instructions on how to do this, just in case uh, you have any additional questions. You have a frequently asked questions here. And you can log off, which we are going to do now. OK. And it just closed. OK. Perfectly fine. All right. We shall be back, and we'll show you how to access this on your desktop computer. Now we're going to show you how to access your DVR remotely using your computer. Okay. The first thing to note is that you must have Internet Explorer 7 or 8. 9 will not work. So please take a note of that. So you're going to go to your desktop here. You're going to double click on Internet Explorer. I'll let that open up for you. Then we're going to type the address that we give you, but make sure that you put HTTP colon slash slash in front of it. Otherwise, it will not work. We'll put detailed information on our website and YouTube channel. So once you have the address here, once you, for, once you access it for the first time, you're going to get this little bar that says this website wants to uh, run the following action or add-on. You're going to click on it with your left mouse button and go click on run add-on and then click on run and then there will be the login screen. So the username by default is admin, your password, you're going to type it in there right now if you type it incorrectly, of course, and you click on login. And as you can see, it's up and running now. And pretty much whatever you have access to on your DVR out from the out from your machine itself or from the DVR itself, you can do the same things here. You can go and search. Same procedure as on the DVR itself. You can back up. And what you will do is you will actually back up. You will choose which folder on your computer to back it up to. You're going to click OK. And you're going to click on Back Up. Now, if this is over the internet, this will take a very long time. So please note that. And you can also go into the configuration and pretty much do whatever you can on your DVR as you can with your DVR as if you were actually there. Except turn it off. You cannot turn it off remotely. So let me show you quickly um, the live function. Okay, to put it full screen, you're going to right click and you're going to go to full screen. As you can see right there. If you want single screen, we can do this right click, full screen. Pretty much the same thing with six, full screen, or the whole nine, or, or 16, or 32, or 25, whatever amount of cameras you have can do it like that and once again you can press um, record if your cameras aren't set to record automatically all the time you can actually set it right here to record it right directly to the DVR same thing with uh, you can also take a snapshot as well like for example yep there's a snapshot right there and it saves right into your my pictures and to play back your client recordings you press that and to press local playback you press play and it will go and play all of your saved movies okay well that is all for right now by the way to log out you just close the browser window thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials on the Yakov Security Tech YouTube channel